Sean Carter is worse. Uh oh. Oh man. He's smarter. He's patient. He's not sloppy. So this just in, Diddy allegedly has evidence of Jay-Z unaliving his mistress, Kathy White. And the reason Diddy isn't in jail yet is because he's cooperating with authorities to take Jay down with him. Of Jay-Z allegedly learning that his alleged mistress was going to come forward and expose their ongoing affair on August 28th of 2011, Beyonce and Jay-Z announced that they were pregnant with their first child. Jay-Z has just reacted to the leaked audio of his and Diddy's secret affair, and it appears that he knows that the truth cannot be kept hidden anymore. Moreover, things are escalating as Jay-Z could be facing incarceration sooner than anticipated. This comes after Diddy reportedly cooperates with federal authorities, divulging information about Jay-Z's alleged involvement in a trafficking operation. Despite vehemently denying the accusations, Jay-Z is said to be assembling a formidable legal defense team, preparing for what lies ahead. Rumor has it that during a recent raid, federal agents uncovered compelling evidence against Diddy, leading to a plea deal where he agreed to disclose accomplice names in exchange for a lighter sentence. Diddy is allegedly set to release the details of how Jay-Z unalived his mistress. Jaguar Wright hints that both the Carters might be responsible but one of them is more responsible than the Yet, unlike Diddy, Jay-Z operates with meticulous precision, ensuring his moves are calculated to perfection, leaving behind no trails that could implicate him. The allegations against Diddy, according to Jaguar, are exactly what we need to expose Jay-Z as well. Jaguar was not lying about any of this, as there are a few more dubious activities that Jay has engaged in over the years that indicate he is the next to go to jail. This pussy been lining up people he calls friends and stepping to the side while they get hit by the guillotine for 30 years. All such activity is predatory. Relationship he had with Foxy Brown when she was barely 15 years old, and he was already pushing 30. Although Jay was undoubtedly dragged for filth at the time for this relationship, he continued to date, according to reports, and persuaded her to commit to a relationship by promising her a Hollywood career. But that wasn't the only relationship Jay had while she was ever recall Foxy Brown Jay once said about her, there's no woman like the Onia got no one could love you better as if dating a 15-year-old wasn't disturbing. Enough! Foxy eventually became pregnant. And he forced her to get rid of that pregnancy. He allegedly paid her a significant sum of money to keep the safe cred, and he silently blackballed her. From the entertainment industry, later in an interview, Jay's former best buddy Dame Dash was asked to share some details about the true events surrounding Foxy and Jay. However, he declined, stating that Jay should be the one to answer any questions regarding Jay and Foxy's relationship. I think the KPD trial has the potential to force Sean Combs to finally be honest about some things that he hasn't been honest about, which could create great leverage for knocking that big lip camel face back into the oblivion in the depths of hell where he came from. Undoubtedly, Jay-Z takes the lead on that roster. Now it might catch some of you off guard, given Jay-Z's cultivated facade as a savvy entrepreneur. But for those unaware, Jay-Z surpasses even Diddy in cunning. He simply exercises more discretion. Unlike Diddy, whose recent years have been marked by erratic behavior influenced by his personal desires, Jay-Z maintains a tight grip on his actions. Jango writes recent revelations shed light on Jay-Z's true role as a dominant force in the industry. At what age was Foxy Brown signed? I wasn't paying attention to Foxy Brown. But that's I didn't sign Foxy Brown. I know you I'm me just asking a you question. Asking I'm on the block. I'm responsible for everybody. <laughs> you the boss. That. Yo, be, don't beat around the bush. Say what you want. I'm to just. Say. What do you mean by that question? I was just asking. What do you insinuate? I'm not insinuating. I just asked the question. I, I, I thought Foxy was like 16. That's all. I'm saying. I don't know about the rest of you, but I found Dame's response to this to be somewhat telling. Despite his reluctance to discuss Foxy, he didn't hesitate to spill the tea about Jay's relationship with Aaliyah. He revealed that Jay was constantly inviting Aaliyah to his parties, hoping to start a relationship with her, but she wasn't interested. However, Dane wasn't finished just yet. He also mentioned that the reason he and Jay stopped being friends was because he realized Jay was willing to do anything for power, even if it meant sacrificing the careers of Nave girls and associating with predators in the industry. I mean, Jay was one of the most vocal supporters of R. Kelly, even after he was exposed for dating and marrying Aaliyah before she was 16 years old.
Jay-Z went as far as shamelessly releasing a joint album with R. Kelly to ensure everyone knew he stood by Kelly's side. In fact, after Aaliyah's tragic plane crash, there were rumors circulating that her death was a sacrifice orchestrated by some leak. And he was working with R. Kelly and they were making so many records together. You know, they made all of those records together. They both f***ed Aaliyah. They shared so much in common. The surround and out of Rockefeller so tough and then just move right over to Def Jam. By the way, wasn't this all around the time when Aaliyah died? Yeah. And Beyonce's solo career was struggling. Jam on your horn now, that record. Mm. From the Austin Powers shit was some of the worst ever. They were having a hard time taking her solo. And then Aaliyah died. And then they brought Rich Harrison in. And you know who got me thinking it's crazy right now? She liked posing with him in pictures for, for pictures. Aaliyah didn't. This was apparently confirmed when it emerged that she wasn't meant to be on the plane that day at all. Instead, she was given a sedative without her consent. Once she became unconscious, they placed her inside. But it doesn't end there. Rumor has it that Bianca is also one of Jay's victims. You see, after Jay had effectively ruined Foxy's career and seemingly played a role in the tragic loss of Aaliyah, he sought out yet another young, unsuspecting girl to manipulate. On the side once more, this resembles what happened between Diddy and Cassie. Cassie accused Diddy of aiding her into substance and alcohol misuse, even alleging the use of ketamine, which led her to harmful addictions, controlling her life. Jay-Z and Diddy seem to share a similar behavior towards the women in their lives, possibly suggesting collusion between them. It's important to mention Kathy White when discussing Jay-Z and his victims, as her life was tragically cut short before she could share her own story. She pregnant by him. She was pregnant enough to know that she was having a boy. Jay-Z was with Beyonce, married to Beyonce by then. He did not want any outside children. Remember I said Miss Nose did not want them other children around, okay? So the thing was, Beyonce might have told him, look, I know you out here, but you better not bring no babies here on me. This ain't fences. You better not bring a baby here talking about I f***ing got a baby. Was she pregnant by him? She was pregnant enough to know that she was having a boy. Jay-Z was with Bianca. Married to Bayonke by then. He did not want any outside children. Remember I said, Miss No did not want the mother chilling around, okay? So the thing was, Bayonke might have told him, look, I know you're out here, but you better not bring no babies here on me. Hollywood Street King published an article detailing their conversation with the NYPD officer. Meanwhile, Liz Crow, a conspiracy theorist, has recently used social media platforms and Substack to present an unusual narrative involving Jay-Z. Initially, she took to social media to talk about the rapper's purported former mistress, Kathy White. Whatever the f Beyonce over there saying to him or doing, like whatever her magic is, is whooping it to the point to where is that he knew he had to take care of this situation with Kathy White. She most assuredly was pregnant by him, okay? And... Her being pregnant by him would have meant a lot to her. It would have been a come up. She pregnant by Sean Corey motherfucking Carter, Beyonce's husband, okay? She was going to have his child. Child would look just like him, honey. Would have been just like him. As an entertainment reporter, Crone has contributed to publications such as U.S. Weekly, National Enquirer, Star, and In Touch Weekly. However, despite her background in entertainment journalism, she is known for endorsing controversial theories, which some consider unfounded. Moreover, she is a staunch supporter of former President Donald Trump. Recently, for reasons unknown, Crone felt compelled to share a troubling story about Jay-Z. Last week, she penned the following. In August of 2011, I was working as a senior editor for Star Magazine. My boss asked me to look into online blog reports claiming that a woman named Kathy Corona White, who friends called Corey, was having an affair with Jay-Z. The blog that reportedly first broke the affair story was published by Hollywood Street King in an article titled, Busted, Jay-Z Caught Cheating on Bianca with Kathy White in August of 2010. I managed to get a hold of Kathy at her job in New York over the phone, causing a stir on social media and tabloids. Crone continued, during our first conversation, she denied having an affair with Jay-Z. Furthermore, she also claimed that she had never hung out with him or had even met him. I then uncovered photos of Kathy hanging with Jay-Z and Diddy, no less, at a nightclub in Las Vegas. 
She continued by saying that she had reached out to Kathy again to ask about the photo evidence that contradicted Kathy's earlier claim of never having met or spent time with Jay-Z. She added, So I called her back and asked her about the photo evidence that debunked her initial claim that she had never met or hung out with Jay-Z. At this point, Kathy expressed to me that she would consider going public with her story. Days later, I tried to reach her at work with no luck. I finally got a hold of one of her colleagues, and I asked her if she knew why Kathy had been MIA. Her colleague shockingly told me, she's dead. In her newsletter, she delved deeper into the details and insinuated that Jane had done something nefarious to silence White. Over the years, there have been negative rumors circulating about both Jay and Bayonke. They have been associated with the Illuminati and faced constant speculation about the status of their marriage. Make sure to check out some of our other videos on the screen if you enjoyed this one.